son of a mother. Miller, how's the training with Snake going? Hey, okay, Google. What are the Game of the Year nominees? The six nominees for the Game Award for Game of the Year are Celeste, Red Dead Redemption 2, Monster Hunter, World, God of War, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and Spider-Man. Dude, who needs Jeff Keighley? I have my own, like, announcer woman. Yeah, right? Hey, you're a winner for Game of the Year. Spider-Man and Monster Hunter? Really I think, yeah, Monster I Hunter. I'm surprised team. Monster Hunter's on there, actually. Is it that good? Yeah, but people, yeah, people said it's like the best Monster Hunter and it's the best for newbies. God, this is a this is rough. This is so this is a ridiculous. Think it's going to be a popularity contest or an independent storm. I think God of War is going to win. Yeah, I, think I, I don't between, think I don't think I think God of War is going to win. I think it's between God of War and Spider Man. I think so too. Because well, so this game is this, the voice acting in this game is probably oh that guy just puked. Uh, the voice acting and the character arcs in this game is probably the best I've ever played in the game. But some of the gameplay, as I've talked about earlier, off camera, is just sometimes boring. I just don't think it's worth, as a full-blown game, I don't think it's better than Spider-Man. Spider-Man is not a, as good of a story, but it's a comic book story, and the gameplay is way more fun. And then God of War finds that balance between both of them. The, the gameplay is really fun, and the story is really good. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, don't, I don't think, I actually don't think it'll be close. But oh, you think God of War is going to sweep? I, I think at least for Game for of the Year. Yeah, for that category. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I think Red Dead might win only because... Recency. P that, and, and I think people are going to... I feel like some of these games, like same with like Breath of the Wild and stuff like that, is sometimes people are fooled into thinking it's way better than it really is. And I love Breath of the Wild, don't get me wrong. Mm. But, but, but I think that Breath of the Wild game. is... For the cash. I, 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 I thought Mario Odyssey deserved Game of the Year over Breath of the Wild for me. Mm. But that was just because I had more fun with Odyssey. Whoa, that is an interesting looking man. What in the... It's an ugly man. I think Spider-Man has a chance to win it because... I think a lot more people played it. I think a lot of people played God of War as well, but from hearing how many people completed it, like it hasn't happened with any other game this year except Spider-Man. Maybe it's a test of how good their photo mode is, but holy moly, the amount of pictures and stuff I saw from the release weekend of Spider-Man, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, this is going to win Game of the Year. Oh, yeah, it was everyone. Yeah, cultural effect to it. Yeah, yeah, oh, pretty yeah. much. It touched on everyone. That, that was, uh, wrestling, basketball, hockey. Like I saw it in all parts. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. They, and that game was probably the most engaging game I've played in quite some time. Like there was, I couldn't put that game down because everything was interesting and semi-fun to do. Yeah, maybe chasing drones. Was, yeah, it's literally, dude. I did not stop. Pl I played that game for like, I beat it in like four days or some shit. I, 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 uh, the only part that was a little annoying was chasing the drones, but once I did that and I got gold on that, like I was, it, it, that was still okay, but you know, everything was engaging and I'm going to wait for the last DLC to, uh, Dilk. yeah, cause there's, there was one that already came out, but I'm going to wait for the second one and uh -huh. then I'm going to play both of them at once. Right. Um, but yeah, that game is way more engaging. God of War had its dull moments for me too. For me, God of War, it was fun it was fun it was difficult it reminded me of like you know very very hard games in the past of games who shall not be named thank you um, what say it say the name games nah, you're gonna, no i know what he's gonna compare it to i'm not comparing it i'm just saying yeah. it's hard like it it reminded me of it because it was hard it's not like it's it. weird he's gonna say dark souls it reminds me because it's hard it's a hard stop game. saying hard <laughs> it's very hard stop it's very ass you're gonna trigger me very stiff. <laughs> oh! Sex education. Uh, but, uh, the story was very, very well done. I mm. love the story. Um, the side quest, I can get lost in doing a side quest for hours. The game is short, um, which I have to, I think from what you guys are saying, Spider-Man was short just as much. Spider-Man was very short. Yeah. Yeah. Platinum. There's, there's so much to the game. There's so much to God of War that it felt like I had to take a break a few times. I'm like, oh, it's God. dense. I'm overwhelmed, but that's yeah. what I love about it because it was it, they they put a lot into it. Weapons, it side so quests, much. collectibles. Yeah, there's like, so much to it. And the conversations seems, between him and H Atreus and stuff like that. Yeah, On just the, boat. the stories oh, and the talking that. head. Just like most of the stories, mm. is oh, just yeah. crazy stuff. Which is, I mean, I think that for me, being like from hearing what you guys are saying about Spider Man and God of War, I think Spider Man will win just because of the pure cultural effect it had. Yeah, and I could put down. I could put up down God of War. I could spend hours on it, and I could put it down. Which don't I watch don't know it. What it says about this movie. Um, I don't think it's. I, I, it's kind of what, the, what I was saying with this game. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that you have to take a break from a game because there's a lot going on. 
Um, I don't think it's necessarily bad. I just think it's, I think it's just kind of a testament to like, it, it, it's sort of like if you saw a movie that's really good, but the movie's five hours, where it's just sort of like, in between it, you're kind of like, man, maybe I could like take, you know, like I could take like a bathroom break, take about 10 minutes, go get some food, then kind of go back on it, where it's like, it's not that it's bad, it's just there's so much to sort of ingest that your brain and your, and you just need to process it better, right? Like you need a cigarette after. Yeah, yeah exactly, pretty much. You need to get, get royally fucked in your but brain. It, mm -hmm. it wasn't those points where it's like, oh my God, this is so emotionally and taxing that I need to take a break. Mm -hmm. No, it's I get that. like, there's so much I want to do. There's so much more that I can do and I need to take a break. Yes. Yeah. So. Gotcha. But, but besides that, like, it's, Fun game. It's hard, but it's fun. It's so satisfying. It's and so satisfying I can speak for Celeste. And that's what I wanted to hear about. Um, God damn. Oh, it's, the long pause after that. Yeah, he it's loves that, that game. I can tell. Yeah. It's... It, the, I think one of the themes for the game is mirrors. So that should be something telling enough. Okay. And mirror, unfortunately... So, uh, so, it's, so it's like confronting yourself. Kind of thing, kind of. Okay, and so this, this is a story aspect, not a gameplay aspect, or both. Both, because it feels smooth. Like the straw, like there are things you can collect on the side. It's sorry, just sorry. strawberries. Start at the beginning. What kind of game is it again? It's not like a. It's not a like a world. Game. It's like it's a. a I want to say a. It's a platforming game platforming. with some puzzle aspects as well. Okay. And you get to figure out like this is really cool. Stone head that on the sides that light up. If you hit it, you can jump on side and ride it. Go up, hit a leaf, get another jump, right up, slide it, get a feather. You ride around like a gold thing, go around like that, and the gold thing. And then like there's a lot of like mechanics that they know how to introduce to you slowly, and then at the climax of the level, all that comes together. Yeah, and then it might yeah. seep in a little bit somewhere very, very else. Mega Man esque. Uh, give you a couple of the like, hey, here's an enemy that yeah. that will like suck you up above, and yeah. then it's like okay, well that's a thing that's annoying, and then it deals with like platforms that fall underneath you, and then the next screen it's both of them, so then it fucks you up, and mm. you have to time your jumps right, and, yeah. yeah, but never for too long. So like you think, oh this fucking section, but then it's like okay, good. Oh, it's they, a, they, it's they get the right? point of like yeah, this is tough, but we're not gonna make you do it for oh, like ten I seconds like longer. It. I like that. I like that because yeah. there's there's a lot of stuff like that that can happen where it's like it overstays its welcome, and you're mm -hmm. just like oh my god, I'm sick of doing this fucking thing over yeah. and over and over again. And so like that's yeah. all good as well. It's all great, but then the way they present the story and slowly how oh you think this is just a regular game made by an indie studio that you picked up because it's not sixty bucks, but at the same time you're actually getting a really well thought out, drawn out characters and settings as well. Mm -hmm. Like you pretty much you you there's an evil twin version of you that chases you. And so, like, oh, that's very Mario esque. They've done that in games like that. Like, you have like a ghost. That they did on like Mario Three. You'll World. See, you'll see why though. It's kind of it's a a plot character as well. So it's oh, not yeah, like yeah. A, it's, so not it's, like, it's not just like a yeah, timing based. It's not like thing. a one time thing. Okay, so okay. like it's chasing you. So like it gets to a certain point that uh, another climber, sure, uh, Theo. He gives you breathing exercises because she, Madeline, the main character, suffers from anxiety. And he's like, how do you deal with it? She's like, drinking. <laughs> that's, that's pretty relevant. <laughs> and so like, he's like, you need to like breathe. I like to imagine a feather in my head, and I'm trying to keep it afloat. And so all of a sudden, the game shifts, and there's a feather, and you're literally you're trying to keep it afloat by holding X, letting go of X. And, but honestly, you, if you... It actually works, like, breathing-wise coinciding with the game and then she calms down it works sometimes sometimes it doesn't work because she can't overcome it yeah it's anxiety sometimes yeah she overcome it. so it's like yeah, so cool. her it's kind of plot revealing but her climb is not because she's an experienced explorer like she's battling something but you're trying to figure out what it is so she's yeah you're going through sort of with her journey to figure out what it is it's got her this anxious mm -hmm. all the time yeah even night you have night terrors also like you don't know Jesus, it's not real man. it's crazy and so it's not what i expected at all yeah oh, this could be a cool short little super meat boy like game it can be a little difficult that's it and but like I, po I posted that gif on twitter it's just like she's looking out over the sunset or whatever it was the sunrise I was like, holy shit, this is like a beautiful it. game. Yeah. I want it. It's just a beautiful yeah, game. Yeah, you sold me on it. Because yeah. I, was, I was thinking it was mostly just sort of a normal platformer. And so I wasn't like, I was going to play it at some point. But I was mm -hmm. like, maybe like after a Red Dead or after whatever. 
But no, I, I think I want to pick that game up. It's, it's relatively short too, right? Yeah, yeah. But I kind of don't want it to end. <laughs> because like, they're like, Madeline, come home. She's like, I don't want to come home. Like, I don't want to go back to that. Like, I want to be up here probably dying, but I don't want to go back to what yeah. that, where that regular life for her die. is. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. That's it's crazy. That's actually amazing. Yeah, we obviously got a, it got a 10 on IGN so, for a reason. That sounds amazing. Yeah. yeah, that sounds um, great. <laughs> what, what are what are like the qualifications for you guys for like a good game? Like, oh, is it like three things? Like, you're like it has to have great animation, or it has to have a great I think story. And that's like, tough. I think it depends on the. What? I think it depends on the genre first of all. Yeah. And then I think it depends on what you like. I think because like um. Well, to mi- like for it, like let's say we're IGN right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, like, we have three categories that we need to, you know, base this off to give it the IGN award for best game. Yeah. Like, what would those three things be? Mm. For me, it's, yeah, I, I guess, about this. plot and I want to say score. Yeah, yeah, music. Score is definitely on there like for me, plot, too. Plot, score. The, the music, the music, if the music isn't very good, I probably won't be ingrained. Mm. Um, like, with what Red Dead actually does is also very Breath of the Wild, where you don't hear a ton of music mm. like the action scenes you will like if you're doing a shootout like there will be like a like a very high paced kind of music but then as you're riding it'll just sort of you just sort of hear like a like a, ban- a banjo just twang a couple oh, of times man. um or like a, or like a violin like a fiddle or something mm. and, and i love that it like adds like an atmospheric thing to it yeah. um so i like yeah score for sure yeah. story story i guess not if it's story based it's got to be good mm. but I don't need a good story for a game to be interesting to me mm-hmm. personally. Uh, I like, cause I play a bunch of, play, you know, like Mario's story is as fucking vapid as it gets. Right. Yeah. Like it's so, but I love that game cause it's fun. It's yeah. just, it's just, it's still fun. Yeah. I, I, I need, um, wow. This is, you, you might have to come back to me on this one. Cause, cause this is, that's hard. That's a very three tough things, question. Three. three things is tough. Cause, cause say, it, cause it depends on things? genre. Yeah. It depends. It totally depends on genre. Those three things change a lot. When it was genre. I think score is one of the yeah. few things that's like stagnant that's, and consistent okay. throughout. Okay. Like you need a good music in a game to kind of get you immersed. Mm-hmm. Um, was, yeah, I, I think, think tight controls, good. obviously. Like you got to, it's got to be like fun to play. Ones, mechanics, I guess. Yeah. Like what it's, about for you? Yeah, Evil, what about you? Uh, what um, about you too, Eloy? I feel like um, you asked before. Well, I'm relatively new to, to gaming. So Ninja from Gaiden. What, from what I've, yeah. So from what I'm thinking, it's like, Score definitely, mm-hmm. um, plot definitely, and I don't want to say animation, but but it has to work collectively <laughs> with the game to make sure like play Overwatch it flows well, type of thing. Yeah, you know I mean? uh, like, uh, it has like story that. progression, flow, story yeah, yeah, pace. That's, that's like yeah. That's pace needs to be. Good. Oh, what's the word? Pace. Yeah, 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 pace. Yeah, pace. Yeah, pace. That's yeah. tied into the plot. Yeah, but, but sometimes like open world games like this has like this game has a huge problem with pace because the game is so big and there's so many do, things. That's that's testament to like down to the, the player. Side quest, the side quest. Of course, but the but the the thing with this game is that the side quests aren't aren't around a lot. Like there's there's some there's there's, but you have to look for them. It isn't something like something with Assassin's Creed almost is better in that aspect because. Assassin's Creed will just sort of like put it on the map for you where it's like mm. here's this collectible here's this person here's this blah 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 and it's like and it's very pronounced and it's like here it is this game this game in a, in a way try to do again very Breath of the Wild I sort of like the, that's, it, that's the yeah, sure. of it um, even in God of War like you had to go look for the side quests but for the Witcher they're posted somewhere so you can go find the side quests yeah. so like I think that's just mm. two different ways that it's presented to you Odyssey does um, the same thing too kind of like you have like a, a bulletin board. Well, the next yeah. question I wanted to ask you guys is for Celeste Toki. Celeste, out yeah. Out of five, what uh-huh. would you rate the score? That's not fair because I was I was at a fucked up point in my life, man. There's games that hit you that hit you harder than maybe they would have if you were in a different that's, mindset. That's so yeah, hey, I'm vulnerable. with you. We're vulnerable and, 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 and it was the most oh, effective at that point. Easily like. Uh, I'm like five. Tim, kind of fun. That's a five. That game's like an easy five. What about plot? Five. Damn, for like man. The way, I gotta play the this way game. they so... draw it out and for like the way they introduce people, like you like 
I'm Madeline, blah, 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 blah. But you find out, okay, she's actually older. She's like a character. She's relatable. Yeah. Like, for some reason, even though I'm not a person scaling mountains or some shit, I'm fighting through some shit. I'm trying to climb it to overcome it. Yeah. And that's why she's so easy and to they, relate to. And they present it very well, despite, like, graphical, I guess, and now I wouldn't say setbacks or limitations. Yeah, it's it's, I mean, yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, it's art choice. style. Yeah. 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 But, Which makes but sometimes better. that stuff can make it. Yeah. And I agree yeah. with you. I think, I think sometimes it can be hard to, at least in this era, it can be hard to convey emotion with stuff like that. But mm. if you've, you and you have, if you've played old games, there's a lot of games where there's got, like we were watching like the Metal Gear Solid scene we watched <laughs> the other day, like, like Snake nor, uh, nor, uh, Emmerich's or, or Silent Wolf or whatever. I can't remember her name. Um, Sniper Wolf, uh, her their their mouths weren't even moving. There was no facial emotions, mm. but the the voice acting yeah. and like the the what the situation was made that scene so heart wrenching. Yeah, yeah, and it's like you can do that really well, and mm. that's I, I don't know. I feel like people get caught up in having to have something like this convey emotion because it yeah. feels so realistic. But some of that almost takes you out, takes you out of it, where it's sort of like I don't know how to say it. Like, so it sounds like like voice acting. The voice acting, yeah. the voice acting is great, but I don't think there's voice acting in Celeste. No, they do the, the Metal Gear thing. I'm like, you can't really see their faces, but they will be like drawn out, full things. Like, yeah, they, they take a selfie together or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I like that. I like when games yeah. do that. Like the art is crazy. Like I don't, I don't really know what to compare it to, for the, what they use for cutscenes and stuff like it that. It doesn't it's, sound very comparable. The character design. So then, Colin, for you for Red Dead Redemption, what would be yeah. the score? Like, what would you give, what would you give it out of five? Out of five? Mm-hmm. I'd say a week four. Okay. Uh, so a, a very hesitant, like a 4.9, yeah, like, oh, okay. something like that. Cause it's, again, there's parts of it that are really fun. And there's a lot of parts of it where I feel it's just, it just wastes my time. And the score, the score part though. The, oh, the, yeah. oh, the music. Oh, the music's, the, well, the music's good. I, I, I don't think it's, it's not amazing right now, at least at this point, but. Five? Uh, I, again, a four. Five? Five? I, I, I probably, <laughs> if I had to put it, I'd say a, I'd say a four, and, and only because it, cause of the context. I don't think the music is like outstanding or in your face, but it's just, it's atmospheric and it fits the game very well and it immerses you. And that's, I think, more important than having to have these epic songs with it because it's just it just doesn't fit the setting if you heard like a dun 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 like while you're riding a horse you'd be like okay this isn't very exciting I'm, I'm just exactly you know what I mean oh slave. fuck that guy's obviously what special plot? what he will say plot is a plot is a six that's the thing is I, I have I have never related to as many characters and have it feel so organic uh oh are you gonna have to fight this fucker mm. okay here you go here's the hand to hand combat so square to block, circle to, to hit. Uh, but it, so like, and then there's parts of it, like I said, the hand-to-hand -hand combat is amazing. I think the hand-to-hand -hand combat for a game that doesn't rely on that is actually really well done. Um, if you if you beat him without losing your hat, you would have done something I've never done. Well, look at him go. Oh, he did it without losing his hat. Damn. Good shit. Man, what do evil say? Uh, I consider gameplay most important. The story doesn't need to be advanced. But it has to be believable. Graphics are usually the last thing I judge on since it depends on the developer. Mm. But what annoys me the most is that there's little to no music ambience. Sometimes I don't know how to feel during a scene when I first see it. I, I agree with that. If, if, there's, if there's stuff that isn't conveyed correctly in a scene, it'll totally take you out of it. It makes you realize it's a video game. Yeah. So this game does a great job of that. Where it, like, As I was saying before, it's very weird because sometimes I will, uh, I will play this game and then I'll stop playing the game and after, I'm, after I stop... After I stop, I will, in my normal life, I will still feel like I'm in this game. Yeah. It's that realistic. Yeah. And it's almost like that to a fault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what so about, What about Spider-Man? That game is amazing. So, oh, I sound, love that sound. game. I love that That's game. Score? It's like, God damn, that that Spider-Man. Yeah, what about the score it's for you? Five. For God of War or Spider-Man, it's either you're feeling it as a gamer that grew, that's growing up with child possibly or in the future that you really feel god of war yeah even as like a son yourself spider-man is just like you're finally seeing stan lee's vision come 
to life in your hands. Oh, absolutely. So like it's just fucked up. Yeah, that's true. And I and I in and, and the God of War way, I definitely related on the son side of things, just because I, I definitely had a dad for a while that was, I, I mean, he wasn't as big of a dick as as uh, Kratos, but he he definitely wasn't there when I needed him to be, and it was really awkward to kind of be around him sometimes. So it's this stuff like that I totally related to. And then, but then Spider Man, yeah, like. Like when I was, you know, six, seven years old, I got my first comic book from my dad and it was Spider-Man and I like really loved Spider-Man and I, and, and when I played, I had the N64 game, I had the Spider-Man movie games, I had, I had a couple other Spider-Man games that were made afterwards and I don't think they had any of the bad ones, but I had a couple of, and I played the shit out of them because I love Spider-Man and then I played this Spider-Man and yeah, it's, it's, as you said, it, it is that dream realized. It, you, there's never a point where you don't, and I know it's overused, but you don't. Feel, there's never a point where you don't feel like Spider-Man. And, and the only parts that I would hold against Spider-Man is that there's parts where you have to be Mary Jane or Miles, uh, and they were boring. They were just very boring. You just didn't do anything. You just had to sort of do stealth. Um, you know, like that. Miles is in the game. Yeah, Miles Morales. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he punched Spider-Man in the face. That's awesome. Uh, but it, one step to that, Nick Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I mean, and he ends up obviously sort of realizing his Spider Man dream at some point. But it's like, you don't play as him. But but it's those are the only parts that hold against the game. Everything was engaging. There was always something to do, and none of it felt too difficult. But it felt difficult enough where it would engage you and immerse you. And I don't know if it's saved. Uh, it's it's, it's fine. I mean, you did. I basically did nothing. Don't worry about it. Um. So it's uh. I, I, yeah, I, I, those games are so different. Like, yeah. and, and again, that's why I so, like that's what I said before. I don't know if I could put my finger on Red Dead Redemption because I don't think, I don't think, I think what Rockstar was trying to go for. I think they, oh, I think they got. I think they nailed it. I think they nailed wanting to immerse you and make this game feel like you are an outlaw, which I think Red Dead Redemption, the first one, did a great job of. But everything was just more condensed, so it felt easier to sort of ingest. This game. You have to be okay sort of being literally Arthur Morgan on a horse riding across the country. Like, if you if you are too invested in it being very much like a video game, you're going to not like this game. Huh. You just won't. Like, you have to sort of take yourself out of that and be okay with patience and taking forever to to ride your horse across the country and being okay with just having a conversation with somebody and just really feeling like, and like I said, we were like, like Mason was talking about it too. Is just sort of like, uh, you go in your camp and the camp stuff is really cool. Just how the character arcs change. Like, um, but you'll wake up in the morning and then you eat, you get a bowl of stew and you're, if you see the sunlight and you're across a lake and you just sort of take it all in and then you drink a cup of coffee. And it's like those kind of little immersion moments make a big difference with this game where it makes it really cool but then at the same time, that stuff is like, I don't want to have to do this all the time. I don't, I don't, I just want to kind of get going. So it's this weird, I feel like, it's yeah, so they, weird. They hit it on the head almost too much. Exactly. Like the horse balls thing, I should have known that. That's that was a sign. <laughs> that, oh, that. that was shit. I was like, they're, they're cause I think it's a, well, this is a topic for another day. They don't want to hear the bullshit from people about how much not detail they did, but they did the, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's another thing. It's like a trendsetter game. Like they're going so immersive and so far with it. Oh yeah. That so, now different games, you know, are gonna try to emulate that or get, get as close as possible. It's to, it, this to game the, is to the immersion part of it because right, even with oh no worries, just turn around just because of chat. War, like I had teared up a couple times because of just the relationship between the son and the father. Even just the stories that. The talking head would, you know, you know, talk about uh, on the boat trips. It would just like, it just made me think. It made me like consider like my point of view on certain. Oh stuff, yeah. Sort of moral standpoints, all that stuff, and then just the whole, you know, fulfilling like the mother's wishes and stuff like that. It's it's you kind of understand this the uh, Kratos' viewpoint on you know certain subjects and how you know naive and young. You know, uh, his son Atreus was so. Yeah, it's weird how relatable both characters are to some extent. Yeah, there's sometimes yeah. you can't you can't understand Kratos for how he gets mad at stuff, but mm -hmm. then you also understand like like I remember one of the first scenes of the game where Atreus is trying to hunt that that uh, the deer or whatever it was, um, and and uh, and he's just sort of like ran at it and tried to shoot it, and then Kratos did this thing where he's like. <gasps> 
Only fire! And then he kind of stops. He's like, okay, don't yell. It's your kid. Like, it's not going to get through to him. Only fire when, like, you know what I mean? And, like, and, and he has this sort of, like, uh... Learning how to be a father. Exactly. Like, and that... You, under, you understand that. And it felt so relatable, especially if you've gone through, like, anger issues and stuff like that, where it's, like, for him, the only thing he kind of knows is to be on guard and angry all the time. And he realizes that in this situation, that that is uncalled for. It's his son. It's just a deer. There's no reason to get that upset about it. And he kind of gets that in the moment. But the bigger thing is that he's learning how to become a father. Yeah. Because even in, from the beginning to the end, you can, from the beginning, you can tell that he doesn't know how to be nurturing. Towards the end of the whole game, you know, just him. Like, that's what, that's one of the moments that I got to that I, He was, like, giving... Uh, hey, wait, is this spoilers? Because uh, I still gotta play the game. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah I, well, I do. Like, I am gonna finish the game eventually. Yeah, like there's this moment that you're like, oh wow, you're learning how to be a dad, and you're just uh, loving it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so story wise for me, I think it's a, a definite five. I think gameplay for me is like a definite like, four because just because there's so much to do and it's overwhelming to a point, but like anything that I do there is just so. Immersive. It's always fun. Like I'm like, all right, what's the next thing? You know, it's never like, all right, I'm done with this. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 4.8 for me. Yeah. Just, just traveling on the water from place to place is awesome. Because yeah. it's just, it just reminds me of The Witcher. Like, I don't know. Witcher. Yeah, it's just a Where it's like the, the de- <laughs> you, like, oh, yeah, you hate it. <laughs> but like, even the downtime with, the, even the downtime with those games yeah, are, are great. Is, is engaging, like. It, like, okay, even standing and not doing anything, Atreus is like, just like, you know, like, okay, what are we gonna do? Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Say shit. And then even like during a fight, like when I'm like ripping somebody's head off, and like Atreus is like, he's just, he's just like, oh my god, like, he's just moving his hand. Yeah. Like, he's like, holy like, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like fucking, yeah, fuck yeah, son. I just did that. And that's, and that's, and that's again, that's very relatable. And I think, I think that's probably one of the problems that this game has is that the downtime isn't interesting. It's not. I mean, there is, if you're at camp, it's interesting because you'll have moments where you'll just be sitting at camp and then two people will be arguing with each other over like not doing enough work. And it's like, you're just standing around doing nothing. And then there's some, and then a woman's like, you know what? I didn't mean to yell at her. I just don't feel appreciated sometimes because I work my butt off at this camp and no one ever really gives me the the, the due I deserve. And I, it's just like, yeah, Sorry, it's bizarre. Like, <laughs> it's so weird. And like, like John Marston in this game is so different than the first Red Dead Redemption. Like he's just a piece. Like like Abigail just tells him he's like, oh, you're just a useless piece of shit father. And like you take his own son out fishing because he won't do it. Uh? And like, and, and there's a reverend who is like he's supposed to be obviously very God fearing, but he's got an absolutely horrible drinking problem. Oh, but yeah. he's conflicted with it too. And like, and then Arthur Morgan is like, holy shit, he's one of the best protagonists I've ever played because he's he's very just human. Like. You, a lot of what you do as far as like robbing and taking people and like and killing people, it all feels circumstantial and it never feels like you want to do that as Arthur Morgan. Every time you kill somebody you don't have to, you're like, fuck, like God damn it. Because then there's there's parts where you'll be in camp and somebody goes, hey, do you want to talk about some stuff? Are you going? Are you okay? And you'll talk and you'll sort of like be like, man, I'm feeling... I'm feeling crazy, like I'm killing Jeez. innocent people, and oh, like geez. I don't know what. It's confessing. Yeah, it's it's so it's so cool, and I love that because it it feels like everything that you do in this game has gravity and weight to it, yeah. and that's really cool. And maybe that's what's carrying me along, is I kind of want to see what happens to all these characters because at least in this point of the game, we were at a camp after we escaped basically this mountain and then basically some cops figured out where we were so we moved camps. Oh, shit. And because Hold we moved it. camps, there's a lot of people that are sort of like, yeah, I guess I'm okay, but like, I don't want to be on the run anymore. And a lot of them almost don't even feel like they're outlaws. A lot of them are just like, we're just trying for people trying to live and we're in an era that's like past the way we live and it's very, all of them feels very conflicted about what they're doing, but then kind of realize that it's too late. Mm-hmm. They've already made down. their bed, so it's like it's like either have a life of an outlaw or just die. All right, it's, let's it's one or the other, and beds it's are very. I, 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 that immerses oh. me more than anything. And, and again, every car- like there's a 14. woman that you save when you're in the I'll mountains who her husband was killed, Sorry, named Sadie. And so for the first part of the camp, she's very like. Um, 
down on herself and, and she's very like traumatized and she's like my husband's dead and my life's gone and i don't know what yep. to do and i'm just with these band of outlaws 16. i don't even know any of them and then now she sort of got over it and she's just like i'm this fucking oh, badass plenty. now i'm a sh- i'm gonna shoot anybody who fucks with me oh god and it's it's just <laughs> a, it's a crazy transformation i i just i love that i i the story in this game is one of the best i've Things ever well. seen in a game but the stuff in between Give me your beds. of riding and like some like the bath parts and just some stuff is just totally okay. unnecessary. And then it it doesn't take you out of the game, but you're just like Bring mashing the in. button and you're like, I want to okay, fucking get it over beds. with. And I think that's it's very started. weird. I think that's probably the immersion aspect of it. Yep, just, there we go. Oh, okay. I was watching Funny. some videos of the dog. That's a 13. Oh, I love petting the dogs. Give me your car. Yeah, just, just oh, I'm a good boy. 16. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, if, if yep, this was... Card. This is set in a weird time. Like, Arthur Morgan would basically be somebody who would almost come off as a racist. I'll take the way a card. He, said, he, he, tell, he, he says it to everybody, but he calls every, he's like, boy. 12. Everybody a boy. And you're like, oh, that's very strange. Oh, you get it? That's the way he talks. Yeah. He, but again, he's very... 16. He's really educated. He's also very educated. He's extremely smart. Read oh, books. But he's, but he's an asshole. I got 21. I'm winning. <laughs> Eight. Uh, oh, this part. This is also... this. They got this shit right. Like, you do five fingers oh, play on. or poker or blackjack. I haven't done dominoes yet because okay, I don't know how to play dominoes. But you play these games and it gets you... I, I ended up playing poker one time for like two hours. Like real yeah. time, two hours. 20 cents. I'm a rich man. That's crazy, yeah, man. I'm a rich man. Place your bets. Of course, I yeah, like so that. I yeah. Big potatoes. These, these characters actually give a shit about what their actions are, and you actually think about what you're doing. Don't waste all my goddamn money. Go for it. You're going all in. Wait, you don't even have any cards yet. <laughs> Hashtag all in. Um, yeah, it's weird, man. This game is this game is super weird. I want Celeste more, and then I think I want Spider Man, and then I want. I'm Spider-Man. done taking bets. Yeah, I agree. I, I would agree with you. <laughs> Eli, I would agree with you. comes out in March. Uh oh. Right. You're fucked. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no more games forever coming out. A 15. No, no, we're, like, no. we're living in a really weird era where we had a renaissance of Metroidvania games. This is the most confusing summer I've ever had. <laughs> like, my hand was fucked up. <laughs> For all the magic you have to do in those games, I was like, all right, beat that one. What's the new game out? Oh, is this Your one? move. What kind of game? It's a Metroidvania. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Well, okay, new game out. Yeah, well, it's the, me- a, yeah the Messenger. Metroidvania. Right? All right. Yeah. Gonna try to beat it. It's, it's right also. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of shooting, a lot of moving Car. while shooting. Oh, oh yeah. But mm. still to this day, Metroid Zero Mission. No one, I, I, uh, a 10. It's a damn Double good down. game, but just oh, for a 17. the fragility of my hands, I will never Third play the game. Oh, I, I, I'm like, yeah. I don't know how difficult yeah. it is, too. I, 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 wouldn't, I couldn't recommend it more. All the Super Metroid, Metroid games would. Mm. Shit, they're hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we've uh, put your bed. Thank you. Ample. See you around. Ample, An ample amount of time on games. What about music? What's going on? Well, I, I wrote a song. You know, All right, no more bets. Yeah, you want to about to start. Dollar, dollar. I found Whoa, me a cut uh-uh. lady and she Money brought me right. poker chips. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I love her. I love her. I need her. She left. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta follow her out the alleyway, alleyway. Good, take it. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, music wise, uh, the 1975, I guess. Yeah, new besides that. Yeah, for quite a while now. I've, I've, I've a year to this day. Almost. What's up, Evil Tree? Yeah, I've dabbled in the 1975. Yeah, I need, to, I need to listen more. After you played that song, that they were talking about basically everything that's going on in life. But that song <laughs> yes, was that addicting. I, I, I loved everything about that song. I love it, Evan. Doesn't it make you. Wish you had an accent. We hear British people sing. <laughs> yeah, yes. You can only hear it a little bit, though. I, I find there's some British artists that you can't even tell that they're they're British. There only there was only one. There was a woman. I can't remember her fucking name. Who she absolutely had it like a very thick accent when she sang. I can't remember Lily something. Oh, Lily you know? Allen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lily what? Allen had a very. What about Estelle? Take me to a place I want to be someday. Oh, I heard My a, American I boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard too, yeah. But she's not bad. She's like, like, I can't tell. That's the only song I know. Boot up. She's British? Yes. Yeah, oh, British. shit. What about Keen? Can you tell they're British? Uh, <laughs> Whoa, really? <laughs> <laughs> Is it anyone that I'm trying? Is it anyone that I feel trying? <laughs> I did not know idea. I, yeah, see, that's like that. I didn't know they were. By the way, don't kill my horse. I will murder you. It's the best horse in the game. I'm not kidding. I will straight up kill you. you get I'm gonna no. Punch, I'm going to punch your No, horse. you can't get another one. 
That's why I will kill him. Whoa, he jumps? Yeah. That threw me off. It's kind of like a... It's like an airlock, but like dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very... Uh, but the 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 weird thing is, is <laughs> no, they. That's the thing is, I was about to counterpoint because they do. When you get off, like let's say you're on like a wagon and you get off, it's the it's it's just very much. He does sort of the thing where you kind of like you you steady yourself with the one foot and then sort of ah, yeah. Okay. He does that or like when you hit your horse and you're leading him and then like it's an awkward oh. angle. He'll actually go behind the back. Yeah. So then he'll. And I'm like, what? Like, and, I, and I know that's like really totally frivolous and like who the fuck cares really, but it's interesting that they paid attention to every little detail about like, again, you can see the, the cartilage in their ears sometimes. You can, Ew. like the footprints are obviously very realistic. It's raining? Uh, it's been raining a lot kind recently. Of? Um, like everything just, just like. No! God damn it, damn Toby! It. I want to get on. You press triangle, not circle. Oh. Rude. Build. Okay. Oh, you press. Hold L two. Hold L two. Okay. Press square. Oh, Calm him. It's okay. You fucking punch my horse. I didn't. Punch I love. Horse. By the way, you grow Arthur, attached to your horse. Arthur Whoa. punched your horse. Keep patting it. Pat it. Pat it. Yeah. Don't press. Don't flee. God damn it! I hate you right now. Please don't. I'm, I'm begging you. Get on. This horse is my life. That's the other part, is they okay, make you very girl. attached to your horse. Like Odyssey, uh, God call it, Shadow of the Colossus. Yes. Very much. Oh, very, very similar. Oh! God damn it. How do buttons work? L2 is How aimed. How do you make them walk automatically on the trail? Uh, X. Uh, okay, so, okay, so hold. Oh, I, I then, fucked up my radar, too. So, okay, so press the, the, the hold the touch pad. Now hold X. Now it'll go along. It'll always go along I the path. To, do I have to have a cinematic mode? To go along the path, yes. God, okay. Well, it's not a terrible thing. No, it isn't. I but, actually like that. Yeah, but I'll give it to Ass Ass Creed. You can follow the path and then make it veer off to side quests. That's nice. It's like holding the line. It's okay. It, so it's, it's it, cool, though, because it's cinematic. But I, I have my gun. I'll press L1. Put your gun away. No, L1! I will literally get a bounty in this place. Don't do that. Yeah, Bounties are annoying in this game. God damn it, Toki! What? Please, oh, press start! Toki, start! What the hell? God damn it, because you shot! Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. 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 Oh, God. That's how you fight autosave. You close the application. Oh, my God. What the hell? Yeah. That's right. See, that's kind of the stuff I'm talking about, where the immersion is almost, like, I, you too can't, much. You can't even give your friends the game controller. No, this is why I don't know. <laughs> you gotta play, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta know the game by this point, yeah. I, I, I accidentally, so this is, this was stupid. Like, earlier today, I was in St. Dennis, which is the coolest town in the whole game, by the way. Um... And I was there, and I and I stopped because this lady was like asking for a donation for like a like a like a school or something. Mm -hmm. And so I went to stop the horse, but then there was like a carriage that was coming, and so the carriage was like, "Get the fuck out of the way!" And for some reason, my horse freaked out, did a full sprint, and then bucked me off. Okay. I, 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 and I was just like, "What?" And again, it has to sort of do with like how the horse interacts with people and stuff. Like, like the horse will freak out if you're near a predator, like a coyote, okay. like a like a wolf or a it's, snake it or whatever. An animal somewhere. Yeah, and then it'll fuck up the stamina, and then if you don't calm it down, it'll just buck you off. So there's a lot of like, there's a lot of stuff like that where it's like the realism. It's fine, but it's sometimes just an inconvenience, and it's like, dude, really? Like, like you're gonna you're gonna punish me for just. Pressing the like doing the thing I was doing before like I, I don't know it's I stuff just, like that that's really annoying. It's weird. It's weird when people talk about this game because people are still for some reason talking about Spider Man and they kind of moved on to Spyro. Oh yeah, I need to like Spyro. I always hear like, oh, how far are you in uh, Red Dead? Like the story or just like playing it in general? They're like the story, like oh, I beat it. Cool conversation. Yeah. Uh, it, <laughs> elaborate. What do you like about the story? <laughs> it's, it's yeah. Like the the camper the camper stuff is the best part. That's that's absolutely. But even just like I said, there's like little interactions you have with people um, outside the camp that are really good in the voice acting. Even for just a, uh, an NPC that's there for you know two minutes, he's really good. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know, man. This game this game's weird. This game's very weird. I wouldn't yeah. make it my game of the year. No. I, I don't think I would make it a game of the year. Period. Even like throughout every. Like, it's a good game. It is not 
amazing and worth an award to What's me. What's your location, cutie? Am I dead? Eating a cutie. Are the fires affecting? No, but thank you for asking. Um, uh, we are, we're basically smack dab in the middle where I am. The northern fires, I hope, are getting put out. I think the southern ones are already done. Um, yeah. No, this is how I want to die. The combat's really good in this game, though. This is how I want to die. And then look at the water. Like, the water is so realistic. Facing my enemy. Oh, it's so good. And then I want to dissipate into the water. 